Do you know that every star you see in the night sky is bigger and brighter than our sun? Of the 5,000 or so stars brighter than magnitude 6, only a handful of very faint stars are approximately the same size and brightness of our sun, and the rest are all bigger and brighter. Isn't that fascinating? Have you ever looked up to the sky on a beautiful summer night? There's not a cloud in the sky. When you saw that gigantic mass of stars, how did you feel? If you think that was a lot of stars, wait until you see the stunning pictures taken by the James Webb Space Telescope of the so-called star clusters. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay notified about the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA news, and other space updates. Now, let's dive in quickly. Number 1 infant stars in neighboring galaxy. The exquisite sharpness of the James Webb Space Telescope has plucked out an underlying population of infant stars embedded in the nebula NGC 346 that are still forming from gravitationally collapsing gas clouds. They have not yet ignited their hydrogen fuel to sustain nuclear fusion. The smallest of these infant stars is only half the mass of our sun. Number two stars in Tarantula Nebula. The star cluster Hodge 301 is an old cluster. Many of its stars have already exploded as supernovae. The filaments in the upper left corner have been compressed by the explosions of these stars. Elsewhere in the picture, new stars are being born. In the most active starburst region in the local universe lies a cluster of brilliant massive stars known to astronomers as Hodge 301. Hodge 301, seen in the lower right-hand corner of this image, lives inside the Tarantula Nebula, in our galactic neighbor, the Large Magellanic Cloud. Number 3. ZWCL 1358-62 ZWCL 1358-62 is located 3.7 billion light-years from Earth and is made up of at least 150 individual galaxies. This image depicts multiple blue, red, and orange arcs scattered across the image, which represent amplified and stretched images of the galaxies behind the cluster's core. The colors displayed by the various lensed galaxies vary according to their distance and galaxy types. The natural gravitational lensing effect in combination with Webb's potent mirrors provide astronomers with a powerful set of tools to gather information on the nature of distant galaxies and the workings of the hidden world around us. Number 4. Stellar Snowflakes Almost like snowflakes, the stars of the globular cluster NGC 6441 sparkle peacefully in the night sky about 13,000 light-years from the Milky Way's galactic center. Like snowflakes, the exact number of stars in such a cluster is difficult to discern. It is estimated that together the stars weigh 1.6 million times the mass of the Sun, making NGC 6441 one of the most massive and luminous globular clusters in the Milky Way. NGC 6441 is host to four pulsars that each complete a single rotation in a few milliseconds, also, hidden within this cluster is Jafu-2, a planetary nebula. Despite its name, it has little to do with planets. A phase in the evolution of intermediate mass stars, planetary nebulae, lasts for only a few tens of thousands of years. The blink of an eye on an astronomical timescale. Number 5. Trapezium Cluster in the Orion Nebula Probing deep within a neighborhood stellar nursery, the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope uncovered a swarm of newborn brown dwarfs. The orbiting observatory's near-infrared camera revealed about 50 of these objects throughout the Orion Nebula's trapezium cluster about 1,500 light-years from Earth. Number 6. Life Cycle of Stars the very energetic radiation from young hot stars in that star cluster NGC 3603 is bursting into colder gas and dust, making the gas glow. The radiation from the stars has blown a bubble around the cluster free from gas. In this stunning picture of the giant galactic nebula NGC 3603, 
The crisp resolution of the James Webb Space Telescope captures various stages of the life cycle of stars in one single view. Number 7. New Life in an Old Cluster The majority of Messier 5's stars formed more than 12 billion years ago, but there are some unexpected newcomers on the scene, adding some vitality to this aging population. Stars in globular clusters form in the same stellar nursery and grow old together. The most massive stars are quickly exhausting their fuel supply in less than a million years and end their lives in a spectacular supernova explosion. This process should have left the ancient cluster of Messier 5 with only old, low-mass stars which, as they have aged and cooled, have become red giants, while the oldest stars have evolved even further into blue horizontal branch stars. Number 8. Messier 30's Star This brilliant image of Messier 30, M30, was taken by the JWST. Messier 30 formed 13 billion years ago and was discovered in 1764 by Charles Messier. Located about 28,000 light years from Earth, this global cluster, a dense swarm of several hundred thousand stars, is about 90 light years across. Number 9. R-136. The James Webb Telescope has snapped a panoramic portrait of a vast, sculptured landscape of gas and dust where thousands of stars are being born. This fertile, star-forming region, called the 30 Dororitis Nebula, has a sparkling stellar centerpiece, the most spectacular cluster of massive stars in our cosmic neighborhood at about 25 galaxies. The mosaic picture shows radiation and high-speed material unleashed by the stars in the cluster called R136, weaving a tapestry of creation and destruction, triggering the collapse of looming gas and dust clouds and forming pillar-like structures that are incubators for nascent stars. Number 10. Planet-Sized Drifters This image shows the globular cluster M22 as seen with the James Webb Telescope. A team of American and European astronomers have studied the cluster in search for traces of short-lived brightening due to an effect called microlensing of faint stars in the background. Seven microlensing events were seen. One normal event where a dwarf star in M22 passed in front of a background star. And six short events strongly suggesting the existence of free-floating planet-sized objects in M22. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Which picture fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you loved watching this video, press the like and subscribe button to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Updates, NASA News, and our new video releases. See you in our next video.